Well, hello there. Long time no see, right? We have made it here to Puyallup and we are getting settled in. We've done a ton of boondocking. We've been on the move every single day. So as you can imagine, I haven't had a lot of time to edit. Come along with us as we share with you where we have been, starting with the legendary American Volcanic Byway through California and Oregon. Here at Lava Beds National Monument. Where is that you say? What is Lava Beds? Tell them how you found it. Well, I was looking for a route to Crater Lake because that was like the ultimate goal. And then this one popped up on the map. So I thought, oh, that might be cool. I discovered that it was full of caves. These are like caves you get to go into that are oh, pitch cool. black. So we're kind of hoping that, you know, we'll go check this out and, uh, and see what there is to see. And then tomorrow we'll spend the day actually going through some of the caves. Yes. So. Awesome. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's going to be clear at all while we're here. This is a lava rock. Okay, what's unique about it? It floats. What? Right now we're standing on a mountaintop, but you wouldn't think it because it looks like we're in a valley, but we're on a very large mountain called Medicine Lake. Medicine Lake Volcano and even though other volcanoes such as Mount Shasta which we saw and was amazing as we were driving up here and Mount St. Helens are taller this is actually larger because of the lava flow and tunnels and magma tubes and <laughs> all the things, all the things. Go slowly and stop down there when you're out of the rain. Hydrophobic bacteria that glows. That is so neat. Isn't that cool, Bubs? The kids and John have found a crawl space and they're looking at a, some kind of a glowing microorganism, which is super cool, but I can't get under there because I'm gonna rip my puffy coat. Hold on. It's raining. No! Hey! Sit down, just sit down everyone. So crazy, no way. Taking you another cave right now. Why not? Oh, it's running. Yeah. It's running tomorrow too. I wanted to capture the crazy, and I did. Well, that was an adventure. Yep, that was an adventure. Going to another cave. Yeah, going. Yeah. We're going caving. And we're going hiking too. <laughs> yes, hiking. we're going hiking first. We're hiking first. So we have water. We have flashlights. We have helmets. We have yeah. our Junior Ranger books. We have our snacks. Yeah. Camera. Camera. Gloves. Shoes. Pants. <laughs> I hope everybody's got shoes. And pants. I really hope everybody's got pants. Honey, where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> the fire lookout up here. We're about to go check out some 360 views and look at all of these fascinating like volcanic mounds and craters that are around here. We're on top of a volcano. We are. We are. The crater of the volcano. 
This place is truly fascinating. We are learning so much about volcanoes. And behind me in the clouds, you can't see it, but is Mount Shasta. Of course, you've probably heard of Mount St. Helens. Shasta is even taller than Mount St. Helens, and it last erupted in 1783. Peel, this is right? Medicine Lake Volcano. Mm -hmm. You can't really, it's not a cone shape like Mount Shasta or Mount St. Helens. It's a shield shape, and they named it that way because it kind of looks like a warrior shield. And it's just a gentle slope here, but it's home to over 200 cones. And it is the largest volcano in the Pacific Northwest. These are extension ridges and Gillum, I think it's called Gillum Bluff, are basically where two very large tectonic plates come together and they you know, butt into each other and they form this ridge line. So it's actually what we're looking at is a fault line, really, it's kind of neat. We are at Skull Cave. It is a one of the easier caves. It's a wide open space, so you don't have to duck or crawl at all. At the very end, there is an ice floor that is there year round. They found skulls of bighorn sheep and two human skeletons. Wow, that's cool. This is so cool. What? This is so cool. Hey, babe. Is this so cool? This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Going deep into the belly of the cave, and it's pitch black now. <laughs> They used to ice skate down here, isn't that cool? Sunshine! Sunshine cave? Sunshine cave and it looks amazing and you're gonna have to duck! Okay. Imagine if you would have stumbled across this hole in the ground and came down here and discovered this cool cave. Oh. Bloop. Battery's dying. Turn the red one on again. Lead away. Hopefully nothing with red eyes shines back at you. Come to me and look up. Oh, that's so cool. What up, dude? <laughs> through a belly crawl. Yep. About lost it. I hope we can get out from here because I'm not going back through there. Are you gonna have to? You will have to drag me. We made it. Wait, it's supposed to be a figure eight. I we think we went in a now circle, going, right? And now we're going I think in we did another a, a, one part of the lower eight. Okay. But I do think that um, had we kept crawling in that section, yeah. that we might have connected. But Maybe not. So we did have some crawling. It was making me nervous. It didn't look like there was an exit, so my mama intuition said, nope. We made it out live! Yay! Yay! Yeah! You can put out this fire to sound okay. Looking for a great place to stay near the Lava Beds National Monument in Boondock, um, we found a really great spot. It's like, what, maybe 10 minutes? 
No, if, not even. It's not five even, miles from the... It's five miles from the actual visitor center. Uh, it's in the National Forest. It's nice and level. Good tree cover, private. You'll be by yourself. Anyway, it's a pretty spot. Let me show it to you. There's a decent pull around so you could really make a nice big U-turn. So good spot overall. We'll link to it uh, with the GPS coordinates. This poster kind of caught our eye. Um, so this talks about the Volcanic Legacy Scenic Byway that basically runs up through California, Oregon, and on up the coastline. It kind of runs along the faults and ridge lines where all these volcanoes are located. And it's kind of neat because this is largely the route that we're taking as we head north towards our next assignment. But then this also caught my eye too. This is the Ring of Fire, which is essentially the volcanic activity that's all around the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, the truck is kind of angling up, up the slope. Get us in for free again. Thanks, Aaron. Ah. Yep. All right, where's our fourth grader? Aaron. He is back in there. All right, thank you so much for bringing everyone today, Aaron. Yes. Yeah. Cause I remember growing up, we rode our bikes all over town. Spending all our cash on candy bars. And no one ever New section of Pacific Northwest and Alaska region. I don't want to turn back time. I just want to feel that I'm living life with clarity. Right now, we are standing on top of a mountain, and behind us is Crater Lake. This is the deepest lake in the United States at 1,943 feet. It is May 30th, and as you can see, there's still a lot of snow and stuff around. This park gets the most activity between the months of July and August. Um, unfortunately, all of the hiking trails in and around Crater Lake right now are still totally buried in the snow. So the best time to come if you can is a little bit later. Nevertheless, it's still spectacular. So much snow still here. Pick up something at the visitor center. So I got a new hat. I'm lucky. I was looking for a hat that kind of represented me, but also had something about where we've been. And I found the perfect one today because you know you could never have too much teal, right? We're just chilling at the campground here. We've got this really beautiful place. I don't know if you can hear it, but the boys are playing in the creek. <laughs> John is laying in a hammock reading a book. Chloe is having an animal party, a stuffed animal party in her hammock. It's my turn in the mosquito net hammock, protected by all the bugs in here. It's and I'm awesome. not protected because I'm always getting bug bites. You're always getting bug bites. The bars, and no one ever told us that tomorrow it might not be gone. replaced with we. Lava beds, we learned that some rocks actually can float. Why do they float? Because they they're float? filled with little holes. Because they're filled with little holes. They so when we were hiking, we all picked up a rock and we're going to test and see if it has enough holes in it for it to float. Oh. It sank. Oh. Womp, womp, womp. <laughs> That's funny. That one has. That one's pretty light. Look at all the bubbles coming out of it. Dang it. Oh, well, look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. Moment of truth. Oh! Oh my gosh, it floats! Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Ranger Charlie. What's your name? My name's Erin. Hey, Erin, how you doing? Good. So here you are. Congratulations. There you are. We have three new Junior Rangers. Yay! It is some of the most pure water in the entire 
world. And you can see on a clear day, um, over a hundred feet down into the water, and on the clearest day that they've ever recorded, they saw 143 feet deep, which is the world record for clear water. This massive crater filled with the bluest water is such a beautiful picture of redemption. One other interesting fact that we found out was about a gentleman that was a Kansas native of all things, is considered the father of Crater Lake Park. What are you guys doing, family? Making him the hockey Okay, okay, I think that's good. Let's get the salt bottle and put it in. You want, you, this is all you want to, I want to build it big. It could be like 